Hello everyone and welcome to another video from Alt Trading. In this video we will show you the new features of release 4.5. In this version the major thing that we have changed is the login procedure. So as you can see I'm currently logged out. If I go over to the login button and I click on login then you will now be taken to the login screen. If you're on the desktop app your browser will actually open and that's also the same for your mobile app. This way, you can actually use your password managers and uh, easily enter your email address and password. We've also added the option to log in using a passkey or uh, using any of these social logins. Now, if you have already created an account and you want to log in using one of the social logins, if the email address is the same, then you can actually link them together. And after that, you can always log in using one of your social login accounts. Using a passkey has really simplified the login method. So normally when you would come on this page you, and you have your passkey registered, you will be prompted to use your passkey. But you can also click this button to use passkey login. I simply click the button and I accept my passkey login and then I go back to Alt-Ready. And this will take me over to the dashboard. This new login method ensures that logging in for every 30 days is now much easier and a lot less hassle to do. Another thing that we have changed is the ability to do hedge mode trading on futures. This only applies to Bybit futures and Binance futures. In order to activate hedge mode, you will have to go to the trading form and you can select the one-way mode or hedge mode. As you can see, the button for leverage has also been moved to the top to be in line with the setting for hedge mode. Now that I'm in hedge mode, you can see that the buttons have changed. I have an open button and a close button. And I have a long a button and a short button. What this means is that if I have the open button selected, I can open a long or open a short. So in order to hedge against the price, what I can do is I can set up a position on the long side. I can set my stop loss and I can set my take profit. Now in single mode, this is all that I was able to do. But with hedge mode, what I can also do is I can open up a short position. And I can have a separate take profit order and a separate stop loss. As you can see, I have now two positions created in both directions. It means is that if the price gets reached right here, then my position will be opened on the long side. If the position then moves back up, then I also create a short position. And now no matter what happens, if it moves in this direction or this direction, one of the two positions will be in profit. And it will cancel out the losses from the other position. Now obviously you don't have to set up positions in both directions. You can also just use hedge mode while trading a single position in each market. Now let's say my long position has opened right here and I've just done a single order. I did not set up a smart position. Now in order for me to close this position, what I would have to do is I have to go over to the close side. I have to select the long position. And then you can see that my position size is actually already pre-filled in. So now I can set up an order for the sell side of the long position. And if I place my order, and the order will be placed for the exact amount of my position. As you may have noticed, a position has opened and there's now an extra few buttons right here. What this means is that there is a position created and if I wanted to add extra orders to this position, all I would have to do is simply click the increase button. Now, because this is not set up as a smart position, the system will have to convert it to a smart position. And if you click on convert, it will actually do that and allow you to set up the second order. This also allows you to immediately set up the take profit order. And when you click it, you now have a position with an extra entry order and your take profit order already configured. Now, as you can see, I don't have a stop loss for this position yet, but I can easily add that by clicking the stop loss button. This really simplifies the position management for running positions. So whether you forgot to add a take profit and stop loss order in the beginning, you can now easily add them afterwards. And of course, you can also close them immediately with a market order. Another major thing that we have changed is the ability 
to change watch list colors. So you can now edit your watch list and you can change the default color or you can add your own separate color to it. Really allowing you to customize the watch list the way you see fit. Now next to the color changes, we also added the ability to share watch lists. You can download the watch list file or you can simply copy the link and share it with others. In order to import a watch list, you can click on the import button and you can enter in the share URL or you can upload your JSON file. So this is a very easy way to share watch lists with the community and make sure that people are trading the things that you're trading. We've also changed some things in the trading view library. So we added support for version 27. And if you want to switch over to version 27, you can go over to the settings, scroll down, and you can select trading view version 27 from the dropdown list. Another thing that we've added in this release is the ability to go for second interval candlesticks. So if we switch over to the one second, you can see that every second will now generate a candle. You can question how useful this is for trading cryptocurrencies, but sometimes to see the price action, it's really good to see it on the lowest le possible level. And we also have two, three, five, 10, 15, and 30 seconds. Now that's not all, because maybe you want to create your own resolution. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, you can now enter any type. For example, if you want to add an eight hour candle, you can easily add that. And if you select it, you will now have eight hour candlesticks. And that's it for this release. I hope you like these new features and please let us know in the comments on what you would like to see next.